Learn how to solve even complex Sudoku puzzles without writing candidates. This channel shows you how to solve them without pencil marks. I use a pen when I solve puzzles. Learn more about these techniques and patterns at sudokuprimer.com. There's lots of other interesting Sudoku information out there, too. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment. I picked up this Denksport book when I was in the Netherlands recently. And this is puzzle number 34 from that book. And it, um, it's rated extreme. It's interesting because when we get stuck close to the end, there are three unique rectangles that help us find nines, three different nines, and then we can continue. I'll show you all three of them. If you're not familiar with unique rectangles, go to the techniques section of sudokuprimer.com. I'd suggest you study them because they can help you in even the hardest puzzles. There's a link in the description below to that page where you can learn about URs. All right, well, the first thing I want to point out is we've, right off the bat, we've got a triplet right here, triplets, one, three, five. So these are one, three, five triplets. That leaves two, four, and nine here. We can solve the two right away. There's also a two here. There's a two there, ghost twos, and two there. And then there's a, a four here, four, four. This is a right angle pattern right there. There's a four that fits right there. <clears throat> that makes this a four and that a nine because of our one, three, five triplets here. We, can, we found the two, four, and nine right there. Um, the uh, one, three, five triplets we couldn't solve, but that helped, they helped us find these three numbers right here. All right, we're only missing six and seven there. We got a six there, so we can fill those in too. Now, let's see, four, 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 four. There's a four there. So that makes that a four. And that a four right there. I think we got all our fours now. Yeah, we do. Okay. All right, and then we've got a five here, five here. Uh, I just like picking off those easy numbers. All right, and then we've got a six, six. There's a six there, which makes that a six. And Okay. Let's see, we got a got a seven right there. That makes that a three. I'll just fill that in right away. And uh, seven here. That makes that a seven. And that a seven right there. So we got seven there, seven there, seven there. Makes that a seven right there. All right, and the only thing we're missing here is three and nine. That makes that a three. That's a loner cell right there. That's a technique that we talk about on sudokuprimer.com. That makes that a three. These are three and nine. We have ghost nines there, so we can solve them. The, the, I mean, we can solve the three and nine. Only number left here, we got one and five there. 
That makes that an eight. So we have one nine there, eight nine there, one two, three seven eight. And there's a seven and eight there, so we can fill the three in. All right. <clears throat> that makes that a three. We got three right there. And we've got a three, three. So that's a three right there. And a three right there. Okay, so we have seven, eight here, one, two there, uh, eight, nine there, one, five, one, five, eight. Uh, we've got a one and a five there, so we can put in the eight. So one, five there, one, five there. Let's see, one nine there. All right. Okay, we've got a seven right here, because there's seven there and a seven there. So that's a seven. Now with that seven, we can solve our seven and eight down here. <coughs> So we got one and nine there, one nine there. And let's see. Got an eight there, eight, eight. So that's an eight right there. All right, and then we got a five here. Ghost five's there, five there, five there. So that's a five right there. Okay, now at this point, we get, we're pretty stuck. Uh, five, one, one, five, one, five, one, nine. Uh, let's see, one, six, nine there. Um, <clears throat> one, two, nine there, one, two, one, two, nine here. One eight nine there. We well, really can't do anything anymore. <clears throat> but now we have a set of eight nine twins here. We've got an eight here and an eight here, so one of these has to be an eight. And because of unique rectangles, we know that since these are eight nine and one of these is an eight, neither of these can be a nine. So that makes that a nine right there. Now we have another set of unique rectangles that we could have looked at and done first right here, one, two. Got these one, two twins here and we've got one, two, nine here. So we know the nine has to be here or here because these can't be one, two or they'd be, they'd violate the unique, unique rectangle rule. So one of these has to be a nine and there's a nine there so we know that's a nine. Now, let me just tell you, I. I could have put this one in right here, and then we would have known these are two and nine, and we could have solved it that way. But I wanted to point out these unique rectangles there too. Okay. All right, now we have a nine here, nine here. One of these is a nine right there. Let's see, and that can't be a nine. We got one nine, one and nine there. So I'm gonna put the one and two in there. And this is a nine right there. So now we have nine, nine. So now we have a, a six, nine twins right here. We got a six there, six there, nine there, that nine there. So we know one of these is a nine. We have six, nine, twins right there and we know one of these has to be a six we've got a six there and a six here so these are the only place two cells that can hold a six in box five so we have six nine there and one one of these is a six so again with unique rectangles we know that neither of these can be a nine so we know that is a nine
All right. So those are our three unique rectangles. Eight, nine there with an eight there. One, two there with a, a two here. Or we knew neither, these couldn't be one and two. So we knew the nine had to be here or here. And then we had the six, nine twins there and with six there. So we knew neither of these could be a nine. So there's our three rec, um, unique rectangles that we talked about. Okay, now we're only missing one and two there. And we're missing one and five here, one five there. That, that one, we can solve those. Five and one there, five and one there. And that leaves six, nine there, eight, nine there. So we can fit, solve the eight, nine now. These are 1 and 8. These are 6 and 9 there. With that 9, we can solve those. And these are 5 and 6. With that 5, we can solve the 5 and 6 there. And we've got a 1 there from the 1 and 2, 1, 2 twins we found earlier. And we got it. So, unique rectangles are very powerful and they can, they can help you in the most complex puzzles if you can see them. So I would recommend studying them. Go to that link at the, in the description below. Uh, study them, learn how they work. And the reason they work is because if you didn't follow that unique rectangle rule, you'd have a puzzle with two, two solutions. And that's not allowed in Sudoku. A well-formed puzzle only has one solution. So go to the link in the description below, study those unique rectangles, and you'll start seeing them when you're solving puzzles. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.